Greetings. Peace. If you can find it. Thanks for listening. Just sharing some thoughts of mine with you people. I hope you all are doing well and taking care of yourself in these turbulent and tumultuous times we're having. But other people are having it so much worse. Think about that. It was a story told um, to me one time that take your problem that you're dealing with right now and write it on a piece of paper. If you're in a room of like maybe uh, 200 people, that's a good number. And um, write your problem down on a piece of paper, everybody, and put it in a hat, shake it up, and everybody pass it back around and draw from it and read that problem. And would you like to exchange from what you pick out and read? Most of y'all be saying, no, hell no, give me my problem back. But I was reading uh, about Wendy Williams, and she has had such a hard time. And I thought she was a beautiful woman. And I don't know how we decide on which of our women we're going to choose to be good looking, which are not. Uh, like they, they gotta be a small nose mine's is too big as far as the pictures that I see a lot so the lips are, I have the thin lips but the full lips is fine but not the big nose like mine's but we pick and choose features we still do and Wendy Williams is very attractive just like Sabrina Williams and Whoopi Goldberg, who never wore makeup. Think about it. But Wendy Williams, nevertheless, she's retiring. And I'm glad she made a decision that it's enough. Sit down, enjoy your money, relax. And she suffered from thyroid problems, and for a lot of us have and still are in this country because of something that they're doing because now they sell you the Synthroid to um, they give you the problem, then they give you the, uh, the solution to the problem. But she suffered through that and then other things, but I'm glad she have just called the shots. There's nothing wrong with that. I remember being, um, when I was working, on this job and it was this big chief of a director of a particular department and she would not retire she was so old I felt sorry for her how do you get up in the morning because I had a hard time in my prime getting up dressing driving through traffic parking coming in you know the routine um, you are working for the man for the system but how do they do it and so I'm thinking also of these people that are running things now these humanoids how do they get up in the morning and walk well I guess yeah they fly in their jets and uh, the fumes from the big cars and everything but they so old and is it written anywhere that you have a certain amount of time to serve? I mean, is it a lifetime? Is it for life? They so old. I mean, go sit down and enjoy your money. When you gonna enjoy your money? When you gonna relax? I mean, it's a career. I know it has a whole lot of benefits because it's just a wonderful life. You are esteemed and pumped up and everything. And it's just a, a, a wonderful life. Free everything. You do nothing for yourself, but just appear in the land of Oz. But you do nothing else. And that goes for everybody else too, in position where there are a lot of fringe 
benefits. Fringe benefits. And um, just retire. What's wrong with relaxing? And put a cap on it. But anyway, she's retiring. And I'm happy for her. Enjoy your life. Just relax. Take the load off. Just relax. Just relax. You're going to find out how much you miss while you were slaving, getting up 3, 4 in the morning, getting home 8 at night. You, you, something is missing. But when you retire, you find out how busy you're going to be. You are. It's a different, uh, it's a different life, but it's, it's wonderful if you can experience. And I, my heart goes out to those people who are not working and can't work and went to college and everything else. But uh, I'm diverting, so I'm going to end. This is long enough, and I'll come back. And I do appreciate you listening. And I hope that anything that I say can give you uh, uh, the prompt to, to, to just investigate for yourself and to think outside the box and, and, and past what the media is telling you to do and do your own research. Start thinking. Start critical thinking. That's what they call it. Just think. Just think, 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 think about things. Uh, anyway, I just want to share. I'm an overthinker. And they say you have to be very specific with the overthinker. You have to be right on key what you got to say to them. Because they are analyzed in 50 different ways. They are dissected 50 different ways and analyze each one. That's an overthinker. But I admonish you to just... Find out what they're doing, uh, these humanoids who are in control of your life. And I'm signing out. Thanks for listening.